welcome back to Lady Spike, where the drinks are strong and the stories are crazy. I'm Caitlin Arcand, and we are here with Marie Connor, who is kind of a Twitter celebrity and has also opened for a Kathy Griffin. So she is a pretty big star who is here in this kitchen that I don't own, but we are very, very excited to have her. Hello. <laughs> Hello, thank you for having me. Um, so what are you going to be making for us today? Well, basically, um, I was psyched when you asked me on. Okay. Because <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I do not drink alcohol, um, and I have many stories to tell why I don't. But so this is like the last drink that I ever made, I guess, for myself. So I'm just gonna share that with you. Well, we are honored, yeah. honored to have this drink. <laughs> do you have a name for your drink? Yeah, regret. Oh, okay. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> and it can basically be done with like any type of alcohol. It could be rum, it could be, te well, no, probably not tequila, that'd be weird. But today it's vodka. Vodka is yeah. the alcohol of choice, and you just clawed that ice. We have a real problem with I've people got just. big hands. <laughs> people love using their hands on this show. My hands are bigger than. Oh, well, never mind. We can't talk about politics. Um. <laughs> it's just going to shake it up. Mm -hmm. Little, is there a method to the shaking or? It's like a, what is it, level three? A level Earthquake three shaker, okay, <laughs> perfect. Know. Category three, I don't know. It's been a while, don't mind me. That and that's it? like the right amount. Yeah, it's basically just cold vodka. That is a lot of <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Okay, so this is Marie Connor's Regret Cold Vodka. It's best if you chug it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, wow, okay. Taste as advertised. It is yeah. cold vodka. And it Pretty also, chilly. You can also just, you know, put it in your freezer for a day. And but you wouldn't thing. have the art that came with that creation. Yeah. That was a very much performance art piece. I liked it. But yeah. So what story, what crazy unladylike story do you have to share with us today? Um, let's see. I feel like I should bring up. So when I used to drink, I kind of, um, my friends would call me Drunk Marie because it was like an alter, <laughs> not like an alter ego. It was, well, it was just like a completely different person. So I would wake up and I used to like pr play pranks on myself and they kept escalating. <laughs> yeah, like I once ordered $250 worth of bumpets. And, what? And Wait, like the hair thing? Yeah. Which, it, by the way, just rips out your hair. Sorry, Bumpets. You're not getting a uh, advertising deal with them or whatever. But, um, it's okay. No. Um, and I like left a note like, ha ha, like check your bank account or something. <laughs> so I really like, I would play pranks on myself. And I also sent them to my parents' house so I couldn't return them. So you just sent a bunch of and Bumpets? And I overnighted them. And I bought them in blonde, brunette, and redhead, which is like. Really what was the redhead for? I don't know. So was your hair like a Start mountain drinking. by the time? You'll be like drunk Marie. That's <laughs> yeah. my mindset. I can't wait to order my bumpets. So that's like that was like you know the first few stories, and then um, like one time I woke up on a boat, and I was like, what am I doing on a boat? And it's... wait, you have no idea how you ended up on the boat? Well, I got on it. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the it, boat? In uh, Boston Harbor, but I had to be like, okay, okay Captain, where are we going? Um, so it kind of just escalated, and we got to a point where um, I started day drinking with some friends, and I had work the next day. I think it was like a Sunday. Um, <laughs> and so I kind of blacked out a little, and then when I came to, I was on an airplane. What? I know, right? I'm, how does someone just let, was this like Spirit Airlines? Like, how do they let you just get on the plane? It's uh, that's still a mystery. Um, <laughs> and this, like, when I woke up, I was kind of like, uh oh, this is not good. Oh, we should be on a plane. This isn't like a puddle jumper to, you know, Kyanis. This was a wide bodied aircraft. This is like a commercial airplane. It is, yeah. I, so I you had to take like... my shoes off for this one. <laughs> You have to go through security, yeah. show your ticket and everything. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. So here's what's, I guess, a little unladylike. I'm like, um, I'm on an airplane. I don't know where I'm going. And I couldn't find my ticket. So I'm like, do I ask a flight attendant? And that's weird in a post 9-11 world. They'll be like, you need to be handcuffed and <laughs> interrogated. 
<laughs> so that's out. Um, not sure why my mind went there, 9-11. But um, <laughs> then there was the guy next to me who kind of, I'm like looking at him and definitely like, he's actively trying to ignore me. So I'm like, oh, we must have a history. And I probably talked to him. So I'll just tap a roo on him, on his shoulder. Perfect thing to do when someone looks like they hate you. Yeah, tap exactly. a roo on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he was like, what? And I was like, um, where exactly? And I'm trying to like kind of pull it off like, you know, like what? Like which a city? Chill. I know what state we're going to, but like which city are we going to kind of like? <laughs> or yeah. which country? Which... <laughs> so I tap and I'm like, so where, like, where, what city exactly are we going to? And he was like, Dublin. <laughs> no. And I was like, uh, Ohio, <laughs> and he was like, and I'm like, uh-oh, the seats are all green, and then it clicked. I'm on a plane to Dublin, Ireland, and the craziest part of the story is, Ow. I didn't know where my passport was. Like, they just let me. you on with no, a, no, oh, I they had to. It. There was literally, I had like an alter, I don't know, brain, I don't know. Drunk Marie got you on a plane to Dublin. Yeah, and I was like, I have work, like, I don't know the time difference. <laughs> Wait, yeah. so what did you do when you landed in Dublin? Uh, what anyone else would do. Called into work, called out sick. Did you call in and say, I'm sick in Dublin? Or <laughs> you... No. I Got a bad up. case of the Dublin. <laughs> Sorry, I can't come in. I don't know. Apparently, though, I was talking with one of my friends when I was day drinking about, like, uh, something about Irish history, and I wanted to find out for myself. So you just bought that plane ticket, and you yeah. were all alone going to Dublin. Yeah, I know, right? And I picked, the worst part is, because again, I used to play pranks on myself. I bought a middle seat. Oh, that's the worst. I am 5'11", okay? Like, middle seats are my enemy. I think it's disgusting. I think it's discrimination at its worst. I think <laughs> tall people should, tall people should, <laughs> sit in the emergency exits and all that and always on the aisle. I don't know why it's not law, but it should be. But could you imagine if you had an emergency row seat? I, yeah, you didn't I know where you were going. Have. You're not going to know how to open an emergency door. I don't know. I blame the TSA for all of this. They should have stopped me. So have you been back to Dublin since this incident? I have. They welcomed me. That's See, good. Actually, when I went in, the guy was like, uh, what are you here for? And I was like, uh, visiting. And he was like, OK, have a pint. Of Guinness while you're here. Exactly what you I was need. Like, I'm home. <laughs> yeah, I stopped drinking soon after that. So, That's probably a good choice. Yeah, my bank account was like, no, no, no. <laughs> no more mystery yeah. trips. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of like, I like to say the Jesus Christ in my family. Nobody ever talks about what I was up to in my late teens, early 20s. <laughs> mystery. Love it. Marie Connor, Twitter celebrity, Jesus Christ. So, where can the people find you, Marie? Um, you can find me on Twitter, if I have time for you, because I'm a star, apparently, um, at this tall awk girl. You can also find me on Instagram as this tall awkward girl. Okay, we got the short version and the long version. Yeah. Well, make sure to find her. Don't book any mystery flights. And make sure to follow us at Lady Spike Media, and we will see you next time. And now for our Wine Mom Tip of the Week. Hi, so for all the folks out there who are lucky enough to have procreated, I have a little tip for PTA night. Some PTA nights do not serve alcohol. <laughs> like none of them serve alcohol. So here's what you do. You go to your local yoga studio. You rifle through the lost and found until you find a really fancy drinking cup. Come ça. You put two ice cubes in the drinking cup and that will stay cold until 2024. You take an alcoholic beverage of choice. Mine happens to be wine. You put the cover on the fancy drinking cup and you walk into that fucking PTA meeting and nobody fucking knows. You have alcohol. Watch this. Don't mind me while I drink my ginger tea. Nobody knows.
Nobody knows! And this has been our Wine Mom Tip of the Week.